All right. This is a 2007 Porsche 911 GT3. And take a quick look around the car. I'll be honest, I think an interesting choice, but the chrome wheels with red brake calibers, it's kind of growing on me a little bit. I like that it is different. My favorite exterior feature of this car, the Euro taillights. Just solid red color. I just love the way these look. Actually, it was a pretty popular uh, swap for many, many Porsche owners. And just the car from the back sort of quarter angle, it is the best angle in the car, in my opinion. But I mean, it, it just is. It just kind of squats nice. The wing is, it's not subtle, but it's not enormous. It's just, it's a nice looking wing. It is a six speed manual transmission, of course. One of the most rewarding cars to drive. 415 brake horsepower from a 3.6 liter flat six. One of the best sounding cars. I think on the roads. So have it here for a couple of hours. Going to take it out for a drive and see how it is 15 years later, but also why so many car enthusiasts and Porsche enthusiasts in general believe this is one of the greatest Porsches ever made and also just one of the greatest driver's cars ever made. Um, so we're going to find out and it's getting very bright. In the GT3, I think this car sounds good. Revs very quickly. Downshifting is quite easy. Let's wind it out. No idea what that was. Zero to 60 happens in 3.9 seconds. Top speed is actually 193. It has a rear engine. 3.6 liter flat six that is an absolute symphony as many Porsches are as pretty much all the GT3 models are they just absolutely scream revs to 8400 rpm just a wonderful sound in it you can tell it wants to be revved out it's not something that you're like oh, I feel kind of you're kind of delicate with it like no you beat the shit out of this car it does have uh, headers or mid mid pipe headers and sounds wonderful to say the least it's very high pitch sound uh, i once went to the 12 hours of sebring when i was there I, they were some amazing cars you know ferraris tons of supercars there of course uh, you know the actual race itself had nice variety of cars but the best sounding cars were the porsches <laughs> It's pretty crazy, you know, a, a, you don't really associate six cylinder engines with sounding this good, but it, uh, this one does. And the steering is telepathic in that traditional Porsche fashion. It's also not a very scary type of speed because it only has 415 horsepower and not all that much torque by today's standards. It's not scary at all. It's white inviting and you know you can just slap it in fourth you know probably a gear too high obviously for where I am now but you can just kind of enjoy the noise with your foot planted in the floor and just enjoy that sensation the visceral experience that this car has which is why it is one of the greatest driver's cars of all time of course because it is naturally aspirated the power band is incredibly linear so there's no surprises. It's very predictable, very confidence inspiring. And you want to just downshift for fun. You don't, I didn't need to, but it just it spikes up so easily. And you see a lot of sound, a lot of visceral fun experience and you're not, well, you're breaking the law a little bit there. But we hit 60. Yeah, let's just go with that. But you're not going insane speeds where you're gonna have to immediately hit the brake after you accelerate. Oh. Yeah. And that was like 5,000 5, RPM. Imagine 9,000 RPM nearly. It's, I will say uh, the clutch, is quite heavy that was surprising because a lot of other porsche clutches are actually pretty light pretty pretty easy 
This one's pretty heavy. It's stiff. So um, you hear it what? This car is rear wheel drive. Still though, it's not, as I said, very intimidating. Of course, the GT3 being the more sort of track focused, sportier driving experience over a traditional 911. Not uh, having that same crazy surge of power that a Turbo S has. It does sound good. It just sounds, it sounds, sounds proper. It's proper? Yeah, it's proper. Yeah, the steering is just incredible. The steering wheel is quite big. In terms of just overall visibility, I mean, it, it's, it's pretty great. There's really no major blind spots. Sitting in here, it is just traditional 911. Everything is very well built very well thought out and uh, very intuitive. Everything is quite simple, quite user friendly, very spacious in here. Seats, Porsche seats have kind of been like this for quite some time now, but they are very nice. They're definitely more suited for skinnier people, um, such as myself. That rear wing is very nice to see. It's not overly done like the RS. I love the RS wing, but some people think it's too much. It just looks nice. Compared to like the newer Porsches, this car definitely is smaller and feels it. 992 seems like it. I mean, it's a great car, but it, it just seems so big. The, this is, I think, the perfect size 911. And these cars are meant to be driven. They they can take the beating. Mm. This car is 20. Uh, and, anyway, this car has <laughs> this car is almost 25,000 miles on it. We have another one for sale that has almost 50,000 miles on it, and gotta be reliable. You know, when 911 came out back in the day, the idea of a rear engine layout was a little odd to some people. And, you know, 50 years of working with that layout, they've sort of nailed it basically now. They've really perfected it. And yeah, that shows, you know, every car just gets better and better and better. And the 997 is still one of the most desirable generations of the, the GT3. Uh, and there's a reason why these cars are still going for like big money. This one we have listed for 169. There's a simplicity behind it that just is very rewarding. Compared to all the, a lot of the new stuff that's coming out now that's not involving whatsoever. It is quite loud. Even at like 3000 RPM, it is quite noisy in here. You know the engine's there. You kn it doesn't let you forget. Uh, I'd say it's impossible to have a bad time in this car. Just from a driver's perspective, it's a good time. Just you can't drive this and just think, you know what, that I don't that wasn't very fun. I mean unless you're just looking for shit your pants performance, which this does not possess. Jesus. Yeah, I've sort of always said that just as a working car like there are faster cars there are crazier cars cooler cars but just as a working car i think porsche is the best like they're just they they just, they're the best at just building a solid working car the reliability in terms of build quality engineering they just work brilliantly and i've always told other people and there's just there's a reason why people still buy porsches when they're not some sometimes not as fast as competitors because they just work so well and from a longevity standpoint there is uh, quite a lot of confidence when you purchase a Porsche oh. it is mind-blowingly good in the corners and these cars just love being driven hard they love reaching that red line but it, oh, with the Yui with the Yui Grip is phenomenal. Seating position is perfect. And everything, as I said, the clutch, I think at speed, the clutch sort of lightens up a bit. It's really at slow speeds when the clutch can be quite stiff, surprisingly stiff. But one of the best parts about this car is the actual shifter. Porsche has always kind of has had perhaps the best gear shifter in the business. Just the overall feel of it, it's very notchy. Everything about it, you don't really question if you miss the gear, like you, you know if you're in fourth. I mean, just as a toy. And this is a car you could drive every day. You could you could easily drive this every day. I mean, it's not, trunk's a decent size and it's only got two seats, but you could take it to work every day, suspension. 
is well, right now we're in sport mode and suspension mode, uh, but ride is not terrible. Uh, seats are relatively comfortable. Yeah, the turning on this car, uh, one thing I love about GT3s is that they just, they make a lot of mechanical noises in the background. You can kind of hear a lot of that just going on beneath you, behind you, and sometimes it kind of sounds like something ain't right. This thing on a track would be so much fun, or just, even just like on a rally, any decent road. This is simply one of the most fun cars you can drive. Even the A991s, when those came out, when the 991 generation came out, it was not available with a manual transmission, which course made everyone want one of these and eventually they ended up having a manual transmission and you would have thought oh maybe these are just going to kind of tank but they haven't these are just held their value very well when you buy this car there's no questioning whether or not you made a smart decision smart purchase you have amazing sound amazing transmission amazing analog driver involvement, visceral experience. Reliable, usable. Uh, it's one of the best driver's cars ever made. I, I do, you do wonder how these are gonna be 10, 15 years from now, if they're gonna go up in value. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel down below. And I will see you guys in the next one.